wonderful moment, O King, we have in your presence. We say thank you. We say thank you, Jesus. Father, what a privilege. We say thank you. Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Son of God. We thank you. Father, we say thank you, that I am that I am. Father, we celebrate to King. Father, we say thank you. That we love you. We declare everlasting love for you. Father, we declare. Father, we declare. We declare that we love you. Oh, we declare everlasting love for you. Father, we declare.
voice of heaven now The power of God is here The Spirit of the Lord is here He will baptize every soul Oh, the windows in the heart of heaven
Of Jesus and take your seat. Hallelujah. When I was coming in, the Lord spoke to me to tell you that it is a set time. Amen. The Lord, I should tell you it is the set time. On this morning, I want to exhort you briefly on a topic it is a set time. Amen. Psalm 102, verse 13. Someone says, My set time. Psalm 102, verse 13, Galatians 4, verse 2. Yes, Psalm 102, verse 13. Mm. Hope your night was good. Huh? It was not good, you go back and sleep. I ensure it's good. So most of the set time. So one hundred and two is thirteen. Can you can you read? Want to go? Thou shalt arise. Thou shalt arise. And have mercy upon Zion. And have mercy upon SEM. For the time to favor her. For the time to favor her. Ye the time the set time is come. Yeah, the set time. Someone said the set time. Go to Galatians chapter 4, verse 2. Someone said the set time. But today is your set time. Amen. Set time. Want to go? But it's on that. Okay, go tutor. to verse 3. Okay. Go to verse 4. Yeah, are you, yes. Want to go? But when the fullness of the time was come. When the fullness of the time. Someone said the same time. Say the fullness of time. He said, but when the fullness of the time was come. God sent, yes. God sent forth his son. God sent forth his son. Made of a woman. Made of a woman. Made under the law. Made under the law. Amen. When the fullness of time was come. When the set time was come. Hear me and hear me very well. There is a set time. In the agenda of God there is a set time. There is a set time. And no matter how you engage, so long as it is not the time, God may not make it good. But when the set time is come, even without you, God makes it possible. And God is saying to us this morning, it is the set time. Sister, did you get what I said? God is saying to you, it is your set time. He said to me, it is my set time. He said to us as a church, it is our set time. He said to us as a nation, it is our set time. 
Set time for what? For all possibilities. Whatever you've ever desired, whatever you've waited for, that have not come. That have not come. The Lord said, this time, it is the set time. We must also be watchful and vigilant. Because when it is set time, Satan releases operation on the church. When it is your set time, Satan re releases what? Operation upon the church. Exodus 1 verse 12. Exodus 1 verse 11 and 12. Yes, Exodus 1 verse 11. Yes. So when it is the set time, Satan will release op operation. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, by the reason of the anointing this morning, every yoke on our lives, every yoke on our families, every yoke on the SCM, every yoke on the church, because it is set time by the anointing, that oppression and that yoke is broken. Are they hear that amen? I say the oppression is broken. The oppression is broken. The yoke is crushed by the anointing. In the name of Jesus. Exodus 1 11, yes. Therefore they did set over time. There the deep. Therefore they did set over them taskmasters. Therefore they did set over them taskmasters. To afflict them with their burdens. To afflict. To afflict means to punish them. To oppress them. To oppress them. Every time it is the set time. This was the set time for them to come out of Egypt. And in that set time, Satan re released an oppression. Every time it is your set time to come out of that yoke. Come out of that chain. Come out of that bondage. Every time it's, it's a set time for you to enjoy liberty. In that same season, season, Satan also multiplies his affliction. But the good news is that in the season of your set time, there's the multiplication of grace. In the set time made for your life, there's also the multiplication of grace. So that no matter what Satan does, the grace will override the oppression. That's why in verse 12, give me verse 12. He says, but what? The more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied. Them, the more they they multiplied. Someone shall glory. The more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied. Why? Abundant grace or really in that same season. We miss in the season of, of, of where it's your set time. God multiplies grace. So much that no matter what the enemy does, you still go beyond. Because his grace is sufficient. His grace is sufficient. There's somebody this season. There's somebody under the sound of a voice. That grace is multiplied upon you. Oh, you are not getting what I'm saying. Because it is our set time. Grace is multiplied upon the SEM. Grace is multiplied in our families. God, grace is multiplied in our business. When it is set time for that particular area of your life, God multiplied grace on that area. So the more they afflicted them, the more they, they afflicted them, the more they multiplied. <laughs> yes, give me, give, give me Genesis 50 uh, verse, verse 20. And whenever grace be multiplied in that season that is set for you, God turned the shame to glory. What the enemy meant for evil becomes good. You are not getting what I'm saying. What the enemy meant for destruction becomes construction. Are you getting what I'm saying? Genesis 50 verse 20. When it was the set time of Joseph, the people afflicted him. But they never knew by the reason of the abundant grace that was released in that same season, he was turning around for his promotion. Where'd you go? But as for you, but as for you, he thought evil against me. You thought evil against me. But God meant it unto good. But God has turned it for good. To bring to pass. To bring to pass. As it is this day. As it is this time. To save much people alive. You meant evil. Because it was my time. The season for him, he started to shine. They began to oppress him. 
lay that he had died cast him in a in a pit sold him as a slave to the Ishmaelites made him a mockery a priest became a mockery a priest became a slave a priest who was so dignified to the point his father gave him a mantle a coat of many colors the carrier of the Abrahamic mantle became a slave but when the set time came what was meant for evil was modified into goodness what was meant for destruction was used for construction what are you are not getting what i'm saying the blocks that were meant to be used as stumbling blocks were now used as a building block we means in every season where it's your set time god almighty will turn the mess into a message that which was made for an offense will be now used as an incense for the beautification of your life Nehemiah chapter 13 verse 2 I prophesy to you today even as I prophesy to myself and your family and the SCM family our set time is come I heard God clearly as a man. Here's a friend. He said to me this morning, He said, It is set time. That, that's all I heard. He said, It is set time. It is your set time. It is our set time. In the name of Jesus, set time for explosion, set time for prosperity, set time for marital settlement, set time for fruitfulness, set time for increase, set time for elevation, set time for promotion, set time for settlement, set time for healing, set time for deliverance set time for glorification in the name of Jesus Nehemiah 13 2 yes give me that please so in your set time why the devil is walking God is walking better than him <laughs> you are not going to say whenever grace is in view the hand of God is projected he says yes because they meet not the children of Israel with bread and with water. Because they meet not the children of Israel with bread and water. But hired Balaam against them. But hired, hired Balaam against them. That he should curse them. But he should curse them. How bad our God turned the curse into a blessing. Hmm. You hear the last part? Our God turned what? The curse into a Our God turned what? The curse into a blessing. When it is your set time. That which was meant to kill you, make you. The curse, what was meant for to be a curse, becomes a blessing. What the enemy was using as a, an instrument of destruction becomes an instrument of construction for your life. He said, and God, when was the set time, God turned the curse into a blessing. I don't know what the enemy have planned or is projecting against you, but it will turn for your favor. It will turn for your increase. Ah, you are not getting what I'm saying. I say it will turn for our multiplication. In the name of Jesus. And God turned the curse into a blessing. Go out today with this confidence. It is my set time. Go out this morning with this confidence. It is my set time. God is up to something for you, sister. God is up to something for you, brother. And the plans of God cannot be thwarted. And you get what I'm saying. Amen. Go out today with this confidence. With this confidence. With this confidence. That it is my set time. I say it is your set time. I say it is your set time. For that business to go to the next level. It is a set time for marital settlement. It is a set time for your increase. It is a set time. Yes. Yes. It is a set time for you to be remembered. Are you get what I'm saying? It's a set time for you to be remembered. It's a set time for you to also testify. It's a set time for your family to reunite. It's a set time for you to also find your own destined helper. It's a set time. Yes, it is set time for you to see your prophecy come to pass. It is set time. Yes, it's set time 
for you to see the fulfillment of that prophecy. Is someone get what I'm saying? It's set time for you to see the fulfillment of that prophecy. It's set time. <laughs> Let's close with this one. Job 42 verse 2. I want you to know. And this is the conclusion of the matter. The plan of God for your season cannot be changed. Did you get what I said? Because when it is your set time, Satan too will be trying his own works. But the end of the matter, the conclusion of the matter is this. The plan of God for your life, for your season cannot be changed. Let them gather against you. Let them gang up against you. Let them speak against you. The plan of God cannot be thwarted. It cannot be corrupted. It cannot be changed. It will surely come to pass. Somebody say amen to that. Job 42 verse 2. Yes. I, I know. know that thou canst do everything. I know that thou can do everything. And that no thought can be with her. We heard him from thee. And no thought can be we hear from thee. Go to verse 3. Who is he that headed counsel? Yes. With that knowledge? Yes. Therefore have I uttered that I understood not things too wonderful for me, which so, I knew not. So when it is your set time, you may be saying prophesying things that do not look possible things too wonderful for you oh god says your time to get a car how will i get a car what job do i have what connections do i have but when the time reaches you see it come to pass there are prophecies i've given here that i myself that the lord said this and i was reasoning how can it be possible it is not in our power to mentalize the plan of God. All we need is only belief. Only belief. But it is your set time. There are many possibilities that God has ordained that look impossible in the realm of man. And if you want to look it with the eyes of men, you will see impossibilities. But when you have the faith that God can do all things, like Job is saying, and that is able to make it good because he has the infinite power then sir you will see the wisdom of God displayed and that which you thought was impossible will be very cheap you know what I'm saying that which you thought was impossible will be very easy that which you thought was very expensive will be very cheap I prophesy today by the spirit of faith whatever look impossible according to the ordinations of heaven for this season for your life it shall happen very cheaply. It shall happen very easy. It will, it will, it will. You are looking at what I'm saying. That land you are looking for will come in with ease. That marriage you are looking for will come with ease. That money you are looking for will come with ease. The house, that promotion, that visa, that thing you are looking for will come with ease. Because grace will take over in the name of Jesus. Please, can you be on our feet as we go? It's time. As you go, the Lord bless you. Lift up your hands, everybody. The Lord bless you. Make his face to shine upon you. The Lord be gracious to you. The Lord give you peace. May today be a good day for you. As you go out this morning, go out in the power of the Holy Ghost. Go out with this confidence that it is your set time. And your time has come. In the name of Jesus. As you go, the Lord bless you. Increase you, multiply you. Heal you, deliver you. In Jesus' name. You will return with songs of joy. In Jesus. As we fast today, day three, strength to fast. We we'll meet in the evening for prayers, 5 p.m. The Lord bless you. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives as we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 2023, someone say unusual grace. 2023, the Lord bless you. Fire in your bones. Bye bye.